The Bullseye Precision Gauge is made in America. It is factory calibrated against a NIST standard and is highly accurate. Today, we're gonna to take a look at the Bullseye Precision Gauge in action. This gauge has all the most useful features of other Micron gauges, plus the ability to trend data, which greatly expands how helpful a Micron gauge can be. Let's take a look at how a typical service call will proceed with the last Micron gauge you'll ever need. After recovery, repair, and leak check, test the vacuum pump, remove valve core, install manifold, hoses, and vacuum pump, attach vacuum gauge through core removal tool, open all manifold valves and core tool valve, make sure evacuation can get below 500 microns or the manufacturer suggested, close the core tool valve and watch for micron rise. Today we're gonna to go over how to recover Freon from a system and recharge a system using the Digivac bullseye gauge. Before we hook the vacuum pump up, what we wanna do is we wanna check the vacuum pump to make sure the vacuum pump can pull down below 500 microns. What I'm gonna do now is turn on the vacuum with the micron gauge connected up to it to make sure I can pull to 500 microns or better. Right now, we're at 400, we're below 400 microns. So I know that this pump can pull to the desired reading that I need. I am now gonna connect the vacuum pump to the system connect my micron gauge up to the, as close to the system as possible. I don't really want to read my vacuum up by the pump. I need to know what's, how, it's going to, how it's going to read and I want it as close to the system as possible. Open up my high and low side and we start to pull a vacuum. Once I open this port here, now it's sensing the vacuum in the system. And we are starting to drop. Once we hit 500 microns, we know that we're low enough in the, in, with a vacuum that we can actually go and charge the system. What we also want to do is, once we hit 500 microns, we want to valve everything off and watch to see that we're holding a vacuum. I can tell by looking at the gauge now that the system is holding right around 450 microns. And it's slowly, slowly creeping up. That is either moisture in the system or outgassing. But if it creeps up any faster, this gauge will tell me there's a leak in the system. So I want to hang down around 500 microns. And I can see that it's slowly creeping up, which is probably just residual freon that's in the system. This gauge has made my life a lot easier when it comes to pulling a vacuum on a system, determining if there's a leak in the system, or determining if there's moisture in the system. The trending bar that shows up on here makes my job so much easier. Be in business for 30 years, one technician to another. This will save you time, it'll save you money. Come visit us at bullseyeprecisiongauge.com to find out our latest offers, and thanks for watching.